Have you ever wondered how eel offspring looks like? Well, the project Eat Seal can tell you. It's a research and innovation project with the aim to establish larval culture of European eel, leading to a production of eels and culture. Through more than a decade, the researchers involved in this project have improved technology and techniques, and now millions of fertilized eggs and hatched larvae can be produced. All this providing a unique insight into the mysterious and little-known life of young eels. The hatched larvae initially depend on the nutrient package transferred from the mother in form of a yolk sac including an oil droplet. The oil droplet, often mistaken for an eye, is shown here in red. The oil droplet acts not only as nutrition but also enhances buoyancy. The real eye that is still undeveloped at hatch is indicated here in front of the backbone. The yolk sac, including the oil droplet, will be utilized by the larvae as it develops and extends the length from 3 to 7 mm during the first two weeks of life. During this period, the body and organ develop and the larvae change appearance. They develop some distinct features such as protruding teeth and large eyes and this is all preparing them to start feeding on their own. Captive breeding of European eel has been attempted for almost 100 years but with limited success. Yet, in recent decades, improved assistant reproduction protocols have opened doors to a new world. The establishment of larval culture. The challenges of this pioneering work are taken up at the eel hatch facility in the project Eat Seal. This prototype hatchery is built specifically for eel offspring production, and development relies on dedicated and skilled personnel, including engaged and dynamic scientists and industrial partners. When the larvae reach the feeding stage around two weeks old, customized feeds are added multiple times a day to specially designed rearing tanks. Here the larvae eat and assimilate the food as it passes through the digestive system. During feeding, the ingested food is clearly visible through the transparent body of eel larvae. During the past 15 years, larval culture has made a leap both in terms of production and survival. Now thousands of larvae successfully enter the feeding stage where they start developing a leaf-like shape leading to the so-called leptocephalus stage. After 30 to 40 days the larvae reach a length of about 10 to 12 mm and here the larval nutrition is crucial for survival. Only larvae that feed and successfully assimilate the food will be able to make it this far. Since Project Itziel started in 2018 the team has succeeded in continuously expanding survival with repeated achievements of larval batches, feeding, growing and living up to 55 days. This is a major breakthrough for European eel hatchery development and a promising step towards a closed cycle aquaculture of this species. This will not only help aquaculture but also the critically endangered natural population by reducing the demand for wild caught eels. Now focus lies on dietary improvements, culture systems and rearing techniques and survival during the feeding culture. This will eventually lead to the transformation of Leptocephalus larvae into small glass eels, that is juvenile eels used for stocking in traditional eel agriculture. Research and innovative industry together provide the essential basis to reach the goal of a self-supplying eel agriculture. And we are dedicated to make this come true in the future. ITSEAL is funded by Innovation Fund Denmark and the ENV Fund, and the consortium formed by industrial and university partners with a solid background and passion within the field.